So today I'm going to give you a kind of a long-term review on the MPOW selfie stick. I've had it for since like September. Uh, Geek Outdoors did one the other day, and he had a couple of tripods that he talks about. And this is a selfie stick and tripod arrangement. You'll see that in the picture coming up right now. And... Uh, you can use it for both. You fold the legs up and you can just grab it and mount your phone to it and extend the tripod out and do your thing if you're into selfies. The only selfies I take are me talking to the camera to do a video. So as usual, uh, we're shooting this on the Mi A2 uh, using the Impulse Selfie Stick right now to hold the camera in place. In the second part of the video, it'll all be freehand. I shot that on the regular camera. I'll have to raise the audio up a little. Can't use an external mic there. And uh, it, it, it came out okay. It's not one of my stellar videos, but I am sick. I still have the flu. I've been laying down listening to the Elector headsets. And by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this already. Uh, the link in the description below on the last 21 videos for the selfie stick has taken you to the Elector D10 headset or you know, earbuds, which, sorry about that. I fixed that. I went through and changed them all until I got it you know, to a point where it was right. I don't know how that happened. I, I do keep a, a text file that I use to paste in for the description, and somehow it got transposed in there. But you can get this thing for about $15 on uh, Amazon through Prime with free shipping. It's well worth your money if you just have a tiny studio. And other than that, that's about all I have to say. Uh, I can't wait to get back to bed. I still have the flu. My temperature is 99 right now, so I'm just bucking it up to get this video done for you. Got to put something out every day. And now we're going to use the little remote that comes with the selfie stick to end this and go to the intro, and then you can see the selfie stick itself. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. It would be super. Every subscriber counts. All right, folks, we're shooting this freehand. So it's going to be a little jerky, but we're going to go over the impulse selfie stick. Obviously, you've already seen the intro, which we had the uh, camera hooked right here to our little camera holder thingy. This thing has some good engineering on it. Uh, you can loosen. Well, yeah. It would have been nice if I was prepared, wouldn't it be? Uh, you can loosen this up and you open it. And now... You can flip this piece up and pull that piece down and then mount your camera in on that screw if you have a, you know, full-size camera. So that's pretty cool. That's all built in. And then you flip it open like so. And you open your legs up like so. One and... Ooh. This is not easy to do with one hand, folks, at all. Trust me. On this, and on three. And then once you get them all open, there's a small lock switch down near the bottom here. You flip that over, and it ceases to be a selfie stick. And you now have a tripod. Is that cool or what? And they 
this remote slides out of there. That's how I normally start my remotes and stop them, uh, or my videos when I'm recording. So that's all I have. This is a really good product. Um, it will be linked in the description below. So please read that and uh, check it out. It's like $14.99 still on Amazon. And you can use Prime and get free two-day shipping. That's all we have for today. I'm going to keep it short and sweet because I still have a fever and I'm going back to bed right now.